Hello, my name is Karak City 2 and welcome back to our Omni Factory playthrough. I am just crafting up the Singularity Compressor because one, it is a quest, and two, it is needed for the next uh, tier of Microminer. So, a um, couple things. We can work on today. Uh, I need to get a bunch of AHS steel. That is something to work towards. Um, get the new micro miner. We need a new microverse projector and the packaged auto mod. I think we're not quite at the need for this yet because the recipes that we're doing um, aren't. Um, the recipes for these aren't more than nine items. Basically, it's for more than nine items. So I don't think any of these. This one is actually exactly nine items. But uh, yeah, so we can just do all like the regular, the regular recipes at this point um, in here. So I don't know if we need to quite get into that. I don't know if there's anything. I think. Yeah, these, I mean, think it's locked behind. I don't know why it's actually um, locked behind those. Is it, I think it needs items. Well, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It's just the quest is locked behind it. Um, but we're not quite at the need for this yet. So, um, yeah, like none of this is like difficult at all, actually. Um, I was thinking maybe it had some. I did notice there is an ex. What is package auto extender or something like that? These, yeah, advanced package crafter. I think this is for bigger recipes. I think. And these do require these components, which is in the other mod. So maybe that's kind of why. But uh, anyway, um, so that's kind of what we are working towards. So I need. The next tier, I know we have that. Ah, craftable nether stars. Right, I was, that's because these require quad stars. These bait frames require nether stars. How crazy is that? Um, but we can craft these, and they're actually pretty easy. Now that I'm looking at that, I have all this stuff automated. Um, why don't we knock that out really quick? Let me throw this down and get the... Oh my goodness. We'll get the Signalum heavy plated. So Signalum heavy plated. Let's get that. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, f I mean, we're getting to the point where these compressed plates aren't, it's not even like, <laughs> I mean, they're so fast. I mean, you can always make them faster. I was just like debating, like, should I keep moving my, I don't know, if, is it worth it to keep, since I have, I'm forced to keep upgrading the, um, the compressor, that's kind of what I was getting at. Does it make sense to keep moving all this over and over again? Like every tier, I move it all. So I'm like, I don't know. We're getting to the point where it, the plates are, it's not going to like do, eh, maybe, I don't know. Because I'm just thinking, like, if I want to do that, I need more room. I would have to, like, put it out here. So, I don't know. For now, I'm just going to throw it right there. That. That. I probably will end up throwing the other ones in there, but... I don't remember what steel was first. It's like that, wasn't it? So, I mean, that's easy enough. Uh, how much do we need for the tier four? This one, right? Yep. All right, so this only needs six. I don't know. No, these are, I'm gonna have to get that automated. I've been kind of putting that off. Uh, a lot of this is just putting items in the uh, recipes. None of it is like difficult at all, actually, except for this. 
Hmm. That almost... That is almost... Because of that, I want to almost push for this stuff. Um, all right. Uh, let me get... We'll just throw a... Well, we need six. That's all we need, right? So let's just do six and then... Yeah. All right. So that will... We'll do that. And then... Should I do this? Man, let me uh, decide what I want to work on today, and we'll come back. All right, we are back, and I think uh, what I'm going to do is craft up the next uh, the next uh, multiverse, whatever you want to call it, the the multi block. I think uh, need one more. Those there it is. All right, so everything's in here. Now, I did notice the, uh, uh, for one, um, not sure if we're going to be able to put a fluid input. If, I actually don't know if, uh, can you, like, it says, um, tier four through six. So I'm assuming that you can't do the earlier ones. Like, can you do a tier one on a medium? I don't think you can i feel like that's it probably won't work but i do want to check it out um but if we look at this it doesn't require rocket fuel it re requires petroleum dust so there i don't think there is a fluid hatch on yeah there's no fluid hatch on this multi-block so i want to see if i can replace one of the things and just see i i'm pretty sure it's not going to work but uh, I thought maybe let's give it a go. Um, but I do need a chisel. Might as well do a diamond one. Um, because these blocks of diamonds, we need a special kind. Purple space is what we need. Yep. So that... Uh, I was like, oh, I may have had a, a chisel in there. But uh, all right, so there is the machine. I've gone ahead and broke down the other one because at the moment, uh, like I said, I don't know if the new one will run the lower tier and we don't need anything really from the lower tier ones as I'm like, oh, we kind of need tungsten, don't we? Tungstate. Yeah, that's only on the small one. Um, maybe. Uh, there is another way to get it, end stone. That is also a thing that we maybe... We also get helium from that, but we don't need helium. I don't know. Because we can actually get end stone... Um, manganese. There was a way to get end stone. And, um... Or is just regular end stone? <laughs> is it end stone? It's the space, that's why. Yeah, this is like a super easy recipe to get end stone. So I don't know, maybe we'll look into that because oh, that's like aluminum. Yeah, that's annoying. Um, I don't know because I think the percent chances. Increase. So it's a 12.5% on an LV, but if we do it on like an IV or something, like that's going to be like 100%. So four end stone dust, one tongue state dust. I don't know. Maybe. We do get platinum from it too, but that wouldn't be 100%. Um, so that's something to consider, but I think we're just going to kind of put it right here. I did build. <laughs> You know, made the base look even worse. I <laughs> built out, and uh, I made the ceiling too low. I usually do like a four, four height. I realized that when I had already finished. Um, maybe I may put this farther back. Actually, it doesn't need to be right there. I don't think. Um, because I think I want to spread this out a bit. Um, because what I'm noticing is. 
If this backs up, it voids the stuff. Anything with a percent chance doesn't turn these machines off, which I've noticed. So, like, if this is full, it's not going to run, it's not going to void. But if there's a percent chance, it's going to void in these machines. So, for the most part, it's just going to void stone dust, which I don't care about. But if it gets really full, um, it's going to start voiding the secondary product. And that isn't fun. So, I'm kind of having to babysit it. I have to kind of, like... All right, well, there's enough room in there, so I can go ahead and throw redstone in there. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know where that went, actually. I think it just went in the A system. But um, the problem comes into pulverizing, because sometimes they get, you get, like, 10. Like, I think salt gives you 10 per thing, so it fills up very, very quickly. The thermal centrifuge can't keep up with it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe spreading this out a little bit. Um, and like inputting into a chest and then pulling out of the chest what we need and inputting into a chest and pulling out kind of thing that's kind of what i'm thinking um but i need more room for that so maybe let's do this farther over here but uh yeah let's go ahead and build this up so that goes in the middle one two three four five yeah how about right here Yeah, the output's on the back. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. So, we only need a small input because there's only a couple things you put into it. And then a large output. I may just, I'm probably going to break down this whole thing, but it's just the, it's all the spawners that are just, I find kind of annoying. That is, that's the energy hatch. So I did the LUV because for the quest it asked for it. And I just used the, the one we crafted up last episode for the, uh, the assembly line. I just used that one. That, that's pretty much everything, yeah. And then, I mean, there's not much to this. Easy enough to craft up. But we're just going to kind of go through the roof. <laughs> I know that's not... I may expand this a bit. But uh, for now, we'll just kind of see All right, the corners. Yeah, let's... As like a zombie drops on me. I did craft up another one of those torches. Just outside. So hopefully... Nothing spawns. I almost debated putting on peaceful mode. Because <laughs> uh, that's one of the ways you can play Omnifactory. It's a suggestion that you can play in peaceful mode. But I don't know. I just feel kind of weird doing that. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So that's kind of that. And then it's like this, right? Yeah. All right, so there's that. And then we do one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, and I got a new pickaxe. I got an HSSG pickaxe, 4,000 durability. I had the diamond one, but I figured why not get this one. This one has 1,280 durability. This has 4,000. So uh, easy enough. It's auto crafting. So, all right, there's that. And then, ooh, I'm assuming this computer goes right in the middle, would be my guess. Like, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, because if this was 3x3x3, three by three by three, that'd be 27, but it only wanted 26. So let's go ahead and pull glass down. All right, I mean, this is a pretty simple multi-block here. This isn't, it's just a, a big cube. 
you know, I kind of like building multi-blocks while recording. This is a bit awkward in here. There we go. Just It's kind of weird covering up the computer too, but... All right, there we go. So it formed. Yeah, I'll probably raise the roof. <laughs> raise the roof. I'll probably uh, raise it up a little bit so we can see the whole multi, because it looks a bit silly that it's cut off. But um, All right, really quick. Let's see if this works. It's going to say, oops. Missing structure. Yeah. All right. Well, that answered our question. That you do, in fact, need the smaller one if you want to do that. All right. Well, that is that built up. That opened up a quest for the tier four miner. And I think maybe, uh, I think I actually am. Why don't we get the thing for this? It still hasn't opened up. Actually, I don't know. These are a bit annoying. I mean, not really. None of this stuff is difficult to craft up. Um, should we do this quest? I'm curious if there is a quest. Oh, wait. So tier four might. Oh, we got to do that one first anyway. Ultimate extending. Oh, so that. Hmm. This quest is locked behind the ultimate one. That's a bit surprising, because I don't think you... Like, if I wanted to... That's not that. Packaged. Packaged? Yeah. Packaged X crafting. Like, this... Like, does any of this need that... What, like, what's locking this? Oh, we can do that. We have the elite one. Let me, yeah, let me, Mike, I don't really feel like crafting all that stuff up. Um, let me craft this one up. I think, actually, I don't know. I really don't know how this, like, does this replace this advanced package crafter? Does it replace this or does it go on top of it? I really don't know. I almost feel like it replaces it. So, the only thing that's annoying is this. Not the... Oh, nether star nuggets. All right, let's uh, get some nether stars. <laughs> uh, we did have a quest for that. So, I need to get all the different parts, which, easy enough. One, two, three, four. So uh, looking at this, I'm like, I'm so glad I like automated all these dust and stuff. Let's start core. We're gonna need that block in the middle, I'm sure. And uh, another star. There we go. So I, if we can, we just craft up another star. If we just throw all this in here, should have plenty of room. Um, I do need to hold all this stuff, I think. There is a quest for it. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that. I like having them all. Um, Mid-game? Yes, I do need to hold all the different parts. So, let's... Uh, one. Ah, it's going to take... Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Just kidding. I got four from that, too. Is there any way... <sighs> I know it saves the thing. Auto search keep. Maybe that's what. Yeah. Is that what I want? Yes. All right. Because that is really annoying when you're doing multiple recipes and it like closes back. Right. So, well, that was easy. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then we just need. Another star? That. <laughs> no withered killing needed. Alright, nice. So, craftable nether stars. That. 
claim some of this stuff. And um, that opened up that one. And uh, crystal nuggets. Just, uh, all right, let's do that, I guess. Another star nuggets. Throw that in there. All right, uh, let me get some of this crafted up, I guess. I want to check out the, I really do want to check out this, uh, this thing. Because in order to craft this up, I need this recipe. So I'm like, see if we can automate this. Um, because we're going to be needing these, like, moving forward, I'm pretty sure. So this is in the supercharged. So every single one is going to need these, these things. So, yeah, let me, I only need two of these. Um, kind of curious, can we just shift click this in? What would happen if I shift click that in? I'm kind of hoping it just does the amount. No, it doesn't. Uh, I could manually put that in. Why don't we, here, we do this. Should click it in to get the thing, but empty all this out. And then we could just do, so like eight diamonds, just tell it. Eight, eight diamonds. What was that? 10 lapis. And then... Yeah, because you don't need the whole thing. And then we need another star nuggets. We needed, I think, four, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. Is that right? Yep. And then four iron and four gold. Or four iron, two gold. All right, so basically that is, oh, I hate when I do that. There's no easy way to get it back. No like undo button. <laughs> so eight, 10, four, four, two. Eight, 10, four, four, two, yeah. All right, so that will be that. Um... I don't have, why don't we craft up another interface? I like having a interface on a chest, actually. Now this is just random stuff in here, um, extruder patterns. Um, why don't we? Yeah, we'll throw it right there. This is, this one's for buckets. I had a crafting of buckets, but it clashes with another recipe, so I don't have it in there. So there's the interface, and then... Um... I can just do the, uh... I don't need, like, a... full block. So I actually don't know if it connects to there. That's a bit awkward, but yeah. So if we do that, and then I do crystal teen, it should put all the items in there. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff in the, <laughs> the multi. So could we go over here and, and then we can do that. So I think that is, um. That makes that pretty easy. We needed, I can't remember. I think we only need two for this thing. Yeah, we only need two. All right, uh, let me guess, just do a little more crafting here and um, just a couple more, I need to do a couple Recipes like the Elite Catalyst and all that. Oh, well, look at me getting all that stuff already in there. All right, yeah, let me get this a little bit crafted up and we'll come back. All right, quick update here and run into a bit of an issue. 
um, with the extended crafter. Uh, if we look at the not those the um, oh my goodness, crystal teen. We're like, oh yeah, that's easy enough. And then I noticed Osmeridium. <laughs> we do not have Osmeridium yet. And we get it from the next miner. Um, so the tier 4 miner, there's Iridium right there. So we need to do this. And um, to do this before... Yeah, Iridium, Osmium. Um, yeah, we need to do this before we can get the extended crafting stuff. Um, so I am just working on putting everything in. There are lots and lots of recipes that I have to do. I think about 10 recipes I'm up to so far. Lots of just different kind of things here. Uh, thruster and reactant dynamo and field generators, tungsten steel. Um, also, this Signalum microminer. Uh, it needs an alloy smelter with an e at least an EV. So I just went ahead and crafted up an IV one, and we replaced our alloy the two alloy smelters that I had. I just replaced it uh, with this one. So we were just talking about, do I want to upgrade this? Well, I was forced to upgrade it. So and I figured, why not just throw all the the recipes in that? So that's kind of what I'm at right now. Now I do want. I do, if we see this, there's three different recipes. There's this one, this one. We don't really need like there's we don't need diamond, we don't need coal, uh, we don't need redstone at the moment. Um, we might do this at some point, but I mean like two of these we can just get from uh, from the deep mob thing. Um, but I do want this uh, for the oil. I definitely want the oil, but the infinity dust block. Um, because every time I want to expand my auto crafting, um, I need infinity dust and I have to go down to the bedrock and light it on fire to get the infinity dust. So I want two of these basically. Um, is kind of what I'm going with. So that for the infinity dust and oil sands and then this for the iridium and osmium. I'm also noticing we're gonna need wither realm data, which is actually easier than I was realizing. So we can either do the pristine wither or you can just craft it up with this stuff. I mean, hello, that's easy. Oh, solidified experience. <laughs> I don't know if we have a solidified experience. I probably have just used it now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that's that's something to think about. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, let me craft up two of these. I'm basically working through two. And um, oh, also, I finally automated uh, the the vibrant crystals. So basically, emerald vibrant alloy um, splits it, melts it down. I just realized I put this on the wrong one. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, melts it down. The vibrant alloy goes in. No, oh, this way. Yep. There's two over here. I'm getting myself confused. So, melts down the ingot, puts it in there, and uh, I'll have to fix this. So, yeah, I put this on the, the wrong one. It should be on the autoclave, because it auto outs. Should auto output into that. So, uh, let me continue doing this. It's going to take me a little while, and we'll come back. And a quick update. Uh, I have actually, um, I only have like two tungsten dust left. And, uh, yeah, I broke down the the other miner, so I can't go ahead and send out the thing for more tungstate. So I just decided, all right, let's just do the endstone way. That probably is easier anyway. And, um, yeah, I crafted up a molecular cyclone, which is the IV version. And I'm just going to do import. And just throw a chest on top, I think. We'll just do that. And then I can just throw those in there and it, it'll do that. Now, uh, yeah, I have an interface on the back. And um, that I also replaced the other one I have. So there is the carbon dust recipe that goes in there. And the reason I did 
Ivy is it does look like it's a hundred percent percent chance. Um, this is twelve point five percent. So I wanted to make sure I was getting a hundred percent. Now I need I'm gonna grab a bunch of ender pearls. I need a I need to have one of these also set just on a storage bus for ender pearls. But I also need a creeper. I need there's a few that I still need. Um, to set up but uh yeah so i figure like you know 400 or something like that we'll just auto craft it's easy enough and um i'll just throw that in there and then we get our tungsten dust and look at that 100 and something yeah <laughs> and then we have to unfortunately uh Send it back through here. Oh. Thought it was it not oh it was doing it. Alright. So yeah, it was going automatically. So uh that's I think a bit easier than doing it the other way. Or at least until I mean if maybe if we had the um if we had the tier I, I can't remember what tier three. Yeah, the tier three, if we had this like automated, but I mean, like I said, we're we're trying to get this stuff automated. Um, so I think for now, I'll just, you know, throw like a thousand end dust in there or something like that and let this just run away. Uh, we are getting helium and I have an import, fluid import bus, and I threw a storage bus on the helium thing that we have. We have a helium tank underneath this, so I threw a thing on that, but all right. Just wanted to show that little process because I had mentioned it earlier. All right, we are back. I've gone ahead and added a, another one. I just crafted up a new Ender model. Um, so that is just gonna take some time to get more proficient. Um, but a couple things here that I, yes, composition sensor. Easy enough, just sensor, stainless steel, optical sensors, glass pane, pulsating, EV. Uh, just a couple of recipes in there. So I got that. I got the quantum flux. And then you can either do it with the moon dust, which is the easy one, but I ran out of moon dust because I've only did that one. Uh, I did that trip once, so we only had one stack of moon dust. If I remember. Yeah, you get the one one stack. So I just went ahead and actually just, now that I have this automated with the autoclave right there, I just did that recipe. Um, and uh, yeah, just diamond, iron, and ender pearls, which are all fully, they're infinite resources. So there's that. And then there is fuel that we're gonna need. Um, the other thing we need is right in here. So the impossible realm data. I didn't have any solidified experience, but you can get it from Enderman. So just went ahead and did that. I borrowed that one over there until I got four of the things for that. And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, nothing, to, this is the only ones that are a bit annoying just because I have to um, do it manually. I forgot to do, I should have done, I should have done a thing, but I totally forgot. Um, I was gonna make a, a recipe just to put it in the chest and then I can shift click it in here, but I totally forgot. <laughs> so uh yeah, so there's that, and then there we go. So that should be one, two, it's at the quest complete. There it goes. And I've gone ahead and hooked up the thing down here. I just threw it on the this line, the Lumium Energy, which can hold a full amp of LEV, but I don't think, oops, I forgot to connect it. I don't think we're gonna be pulling anywhere near that, at least not yet, so, uh, yep, there we go. So that will fill up, and then uh, I think uh, 15,000, 15,000, yeah. So it's only gonna pull 15,000. And uh, we're gonna do both of these, and hopefully this will hopefully this will work. Let's go ahead and here. Let's just 
that is almost full. So one of those, stack of that, eight of that, and there we go. And there we go. Nice. So there is the tier four Micro Miner. And um, that will get us that. And it's going to get us a Viridian, which will let us uh, get Osmeridium and also the tier five. So we're already looking at the tier five. Um, what are we kind of looking at with this? Yeah, there's the Iridium heavy plating. That, I mean, this is all, ooh, those are a little different. That's different. Those are, that's something new. Ah, advanced plating. Yep. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> okay, not so advanced. But there are recipes. There is quests over here. Yeah, for this kind of stuff. And I realized uh, I had done this quest for Yttrium Barium, but uh, I never actually, uh, never completed the quest. So I just held the stuff and completed it. So... Yeah. Since I don't have this auto outputting. Oh, that holds. That is a lot of stuff there. All right. All right. Did I do something wrong there? Uh oh. What did I do? Ah, right. I had to turn this into those. All right, but uh, anyway, that is that always feels really good that uh, um, what was it? I already forgot the recipe. <laughs> yes, one, two, three, four. Um, always feels good when you get the new the rocket going because it gives you stuff to uh, do. I've kind of expanded out, give myself a little more room to do. Yeah, there we goes, and. Uh, yeah, because I have a little more room to expand my ore processing. Uh, just so, because this, I wasn't liking this so close together. We'll fix that. And um, yeah, we'll get Osmeridium and we will continue. I think also I will work towards, I'll probably smelt up a bunch of this, but uh, I need a lot of tungsten for that. So, but we kind of sorted that out. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Yeah, we'll come back next episode and hopefully uh, we'll check out Iridium and Osmeridium. I think that actually requires helium in the blast furnace. So that's a new fluid in the blast furnace. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.